This is Tina, the Thriftaholic. Um, haven't seen you guys for a long time, or you haven't seen me. Um, I am going to uh, tell you a little bit about myself in case you're the first time. This is the first time you're visiting with me. Um, I really enjoy showing, um, sharing with you guys the things that I've found um, in flea markets, at garage sales, thrift shops, and things like that. I sort of like just showing my friend when I get home, I unpack everything and show you. Um, I would, I will be sharing some more um, solds with you. I'm gonna try a different format and um, see if I can get that rolling along a little bit better um, so that you can not just see the things I'm picking up, which can be hits or misses, but you can see the things that really have sold. Um, so thank you for being here and please like and subscribe um, so that I can build my channel up please help me. Um, all right. So I'm going to start with this week. I went to, um, a thrift store I haven't been to for a while. It's about a half hour drive away. It's called, um, nine lives, um, thrift. They, um, all the sales and proceeds benefit, um, um, cat shelters, you know, um, placing pets. So it's really a nice cause. Um, so the things I got there are, this item everything was half price because it was the first Wednesday so that was exciting so this is a display piece for a um, like figurines collectors figurines called friends and brothers and I didn't see this particular one and it is light up um, but I saw other ones that were listed and sold for like twenty five thirty dollars so I thought because this one was probably rare that I might be get, able to get around 35 for it. I paid at half price. Stop Harry. I paid four dollars because it was $7.99. So I thought that was really nice. I'm gonna have to fix it up a little bit, but so that's one piece, and it's in really good condition. There's no chips or anything like that. That's perfect. And I picked these up. Um these were 99 cents a piece. And when I looked up this El Producto bouquets, empty boxes, these are empty boxes. Um, these were selling for like 15, $20. Oh, I know what's wrong. The food is right by him. <laughs> that was not a good idea. Hold on a second. No puppy. I'm sorry. Um, that was not a good plan, Tina. Okay. So El Producto bouquets. I got three of these boxes and they'll sell for about $15 a piece. I do believe if not, I might lot them together maybe and sell them for 35. Maybe I'm not sure. Or it might be easier to just list one, you know, listed, do one listing and have three of them available. I just hope that when I peel these labels off these price tags that they don't <laughs> get ruined. Um, so just as a clue, or as a, um, a recommendation, I had uh, watched, she didn't talk about cigar boxes in particular, but I watched um, Courtney Hayes, the Bolo Buddies channel on YouTube, and she talked about how it's not trash, how empty boxes of specific things sell. Um, ammo was a big one, like empty boxes of ammo, I guess, especially the older ones, vintage ones. So I guess vintage anything in boxes, if they're in good condition um, or even in poor condition, look them up, look them up. So these El Producto boxes will be good. Okay, what else did I get there? So I got these. This is a set of Corel and hold on. So these are the dishes, dinner plates, and I think it was called, ooh. oh, it might not be on here. I think I did a, um, I did a Google lens search and um, I forgot. Ooh. It reminded me of Florida, whatever the name of it was. <laughs> I forgot what it was. Oh, see the ring light? Ooh. Um, so these, I just thought these were really pretty. And um, there are six of them and there are six bowls. So this whole set, I think will go for about $50 and I paid da, 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 10 for them. 
they were priced at 20 so i paid 10. so 10 into 50 is not oh you know the best return but it's still pretty good to make 40 bucks it's going to have to be a uh, like $25 shipping though, because these are heavy, because they're glass. Okay, I'm gonna put them down, the dogs are probably gonna lick them. Um, I picked this up as well. This looks brand new. It looks like it's never been used. It might, this is uh, Mickey, Mickey Mouse, Disney. It's an acrylic. And I guess it's like for your bathroom to hold cotton balls or something. Um, but this was only, I think this was, this was marked $3.99, so this cost me $2. But I think I'll be able to flip this for about 20. I saw other things with this design, but there were beverage glasses, but they were selling for a good amount of money, like $40, $45. So I think that this is just a little like um, vanity jar, I guess I'll call it. Um, I think I could probably get about 20, 15 to 20. So, um, Next, these I just thought were wicked cool, okay? This is instinct, okay? Um, this is, I guess it's supposed to be a Redskins mask, right? Aren't those the Redskins colors? But they're not called the Redskins anymore. Um, and then this one was really cool. Now they are by this, there's, they are hand painted, hand done. The artist signed them. B-R, it says on the corner there. Can you see it? BR. So I'm not sure who that stands for. This was definitely a um, buy it on faith kind of thing because they were $4.99 a piece. So I got both for $4.99, so $2.50 a piece. But um, I just thought they were really cool and I think people will want them just because they're neat. And like there are people that collect like masks to hang on the wall and stuff. So um, We'll see, I have a feeling it's gonna be a long tail kind of thing, but it's okay, it's small. I don't mind it being a long tail if it's small. This I bought for myself, it's just a polishing cloth, so we'll see how well that works. It's supposed to be, you're supposed to be able to uh, rejuvenate it. Okay, so that was all from Nine Lives. I also went to my favorite little church thrift store and I picked up only two things that I paid for and then a couple of free things. So I spied this and I had just bought a Brighton wallet from Goodwill that was red with the crocodile texture. I had a pretty um, um, hardware on it. So this is a crossbody bag, which these are even better. So it's like a crossbody bag wallet slash wallet. It is Brighton. And the telltale thing for me for Brighton is when I look inside and I see that pattern fabric. That swirly pattern fabric, it's always Brighton. Now, of course, that then makes me look on the corner to see where it's stamped, because it is, I think it's always stamped. Ooh, thought this one was stamped. Hmm, where is it? Oh, I have to open the wallet, sorry. See that it opens, I forgot. I was just looking at this top part going, where is it? It's not here. It's because it's in there. See, it says Brighton in the corner. Okay. And Brighton wallets, the, this will sell. Well, a wallet will go for about 25 to 35 pre-owned. Um, but a, a wallet crossbody, I think, is going to be more like about 45. And I paid a dollar. Yay, me. All right, so that was awesome. And then the other thing I got that I paid for, this was also a dollar. And this is by a company called Sabbat, which I guess is a skateboarding brand. So here's the brand. And it has the S on it. I just thought it was nicely done. It has the flat pocket with the button and these little button flaps on the shoulders, has the logo on the back. So for a dollar, I'm gonna take a chance on it. There were no shirts or knit tops from this company that I saw listed, um, but I'm sure it'll bring at least 15. I, I'm thinking probably a little bit more than that, probably 18 to 22, somewhere in that range is what I'm thinking. 
Um, then I went out and they always have a free rack. I always tell you guys this, they have a free rack and a free area right outside the door. So if it's cold, you have to brave the cold, but it wasn't too bad <laughs> that day. And there, but it looked like really slim pickings out there. I didn't think I was gonna be able to pick up anything, but it seems like I always am able to pick up something in their free area. So this I thought was interesting. It says Goucher College and Fear the Gopher. I just thought that was funny. Fear the Gopher, okay? So actually I did a comp on this and there was a large size of this exact shirt. And I think it sold for 18, something like that. This is a small, but I think actually small might sell better for this because it's kind of cutesy. So it might be someone buying it for their kid or it might be for a young lady, a woman. So um, I thought that was cool. So for free, I'll take a shot. And then there were these couple of tea towels from Scotland. This says the Castles of Scotland. Can you see that? And this one is very worn. There was one exactly like this that was tattered, like the edges were all raw and tattered. Um, this one, all the edges were intact, it's just faded. So I'm gonna throw this in the wash and see if it irons up nice. And then there was also this one. So I think I might put them together. This says, I love Scotland. So this one needs a good cleaning, it's a little stained up. So that was from my Better Buy thrift shop. And um, the other things I wanna share with you are things I got today. So I have a lot of stuff I'm supposed to be listing and I'm not supposed to be buying. Um, but I did go to a garage sale today. I looked it up late last night. I'm like, hey, are there any garage sales going on tomorrow? It's Easter weekend. Should There probably aren't, but there was. And the lure for me for that one was that they have they had Jim Shore items. So I thought, oh, okay, well, sometimes Jim Shore is not so great. It's kind of saturated. So, but I thought I'll take a look. I'll see what her prices are. Well, she really didn't have any Jim Shore left, but she had a couple of other things because I can always find something, right? Um, well, maybe not always, but the first thing I came across that I liked that I thought I want to pick up were these little guys. They were so darn cute. Aren't they adorable? And maybe it's because it's Easter time and I just was attracted to them, but Easter's this weekend, so it's not gonna help me if I list them next week, but who knows, people might be in the Easter buying mood because Easter just happened and they feel like they don't have enough decorations, who knows? But they were in with, uh, there were a couple of Anna Lee dolls there, so I thought at first that these might be Anna Lee, but they're not. I realized that when I looked at their faces, because their faces are not Anna Lee faces. Anna Lee has a very specific look to their eyes. Um, but they, I was looking all over for like a tag and there was no tag, but there was this marking here. And of course I'm not gonna be able to see it now. Can you see it? There we go. Burrell, I think it says. Well, I looked them up. Bartlett, Barrett. Barrett, I think it's Barrett. I looked them up and these items were selling for like 20 or $25 a piece. So when I got two of them for $5. So that was really good. So I'll get 10 times my money on them and they're just adorable. I'll probably sell them together and list it for $49.99. That's what I'm thinking. But I will take a look and be certain that that is my plan of action. Then um, I also watch, I always do a shout out to my YouTubers that I watch because I love them all. They all teach me something different and I just really enjoy watching them. I probably spend too much time watching them and not enough time listing. But the, what, uh, the homeschool picker, Caitlin, Katie, oh, oh gosh, her name escapes me now, but she's called the homeschool picker. And she picks up cutlery a lot, or cutlery or flatware. So there was this whole box of flatware, and it was brand new. I mean, not used ever. Was it the, I was able to look up the pattern. It was like rose 
bud something, rose something, I don't know, rose trellis, no, no, rose vine, I forgot, but I have to look it up again. Can you see it? And the name um, of the company is, it's not Oneida, it's like a very, it's a more common, I'm not going to be able to see it. Can you tell I need new glasses? Ugh. Have it, I almost have it. Superior. Superior. But in the box, I noticed that there are, I have to take them out and really look, but there are gigantic spoons, and then there's a spoon like a size smaller, and then there's teaspoons. So three different sizes of spoons and knives, but no forks. So I looked up and it looked to me like you can sell, you know, mixed sets or just spoons or just knives. And I could still make out well. This whole box cost me $5. It looks like there's about six settings of each utensil that's in here. Um, so I think that I will do just fine. I think I'll be able to sell, probably the whole lot will go for about $60, I think. It cost me $5. So plus, I told the lady, I said, do you have any idea where the forks are? <laughs> she goes, there's no forks in there? So she took my phone number just in case I stumble across them. And um, she will give them to me um, if she finds them. So those were good. So those were all, those were $5 a piece, $5 a piece. There was another thing that was $5 that this was a Wait till you see this. Okay. Artwork is so slow, okay? I know it. This wasn't the best condition, but this is an original watercolor by this artist in New Orleans, and his name is da -da -da -da, Michael, Michael Smeraldo. Michael Smeraldo. And if y'all don't know the kind of trick to determine whether it's an original or a print is I have a magnifier on my iPhone. You take it to a really, really high magnification. And if the colors are done in like little dots, you could see little dots. That means it's a print. So this is an original watercolor and it's signed. And like I said, the edges are not in the best condition. Now the lady said, I think it was her daughter bought it. It was from a street artist. She didn't even know. She thought it was, thought it was like Sacramento, California. I'm like, no, it's New Orleans. And she's like, oh yeah, New Orleans. And then she's like, I don't even think my daughter really liked it. She just bought it to support the street artist like and his craft. So I saw another original watercolor by this artist had sold on, I think I saw it on, I think I saw it on Worth Point for $150. So I spent $5 on this. That was a good gamble. So, and he has his own little bag so he doesn't get dirty. Okay, so that was awesome find. So I thought to myself, well, you know, I had $5 left, I was burning a hole in my pocket, not really. But the woman had said she had this whole area on her lawn and she had tons of stuff out there, just junk boxes and boxes of stuff. It was housewares, it was toys, it was cases, it was it was stuff, a lot of stuff and a lot of broken stuff and a lot of junk and a lot of glassware. And I said to myself, do I really want to sift through that? And when I first got there, I really didn't. I didn't. And after I bought these things, I'm like, I still didn't. But then I saw people picking through and what her deal was, was she said, it's, you can, Get a small box or a large box and fill it with whatever you want from that area. And it was $5 for the small box and $10 for the large box. So I just looked and the first thing I saw were these um, Christmas cards packaged. There were three of them of the same. And I thought, mm, that could be a good buy. So she brought over a box to me and help, enabled me to uh, start picking. And so I put those cards in there and then I found something else and then I found something else and then I found a big fork and a big spoon, like the big, the wooden ones that you hang on the wall, you know, like the Romanos in uh, 
everybody loves Raymond, the big fork and the big spoon. So anyway, so long story short, I have a $5 box to show you. So I'm just going to lift it up with my bad back and I'm gonna show you what I got for five bucks. All right, you ready? These I bought for me because I always feel in the winter when my ears are warm, my whole body is warm. So look at those gigantic ear muffs. Okay, that was, an, that was a personal purchase. Um, okay, so I picked up this little guy. I don't know if he's gonna be worth much, but I thought it was very sweet. Oh, reflection. And it's signed Libby, L-I-B-B-I-E, and it says P-T-P Inc, 1987. So we'll see. I don't. I saw another one listed, actually this exact same thing for $15. So, hey, if I, I can sell for $15, that'd be great. I haven't looked everything up, okay? Just gonna let you know. Like, for example, I didn't look this up but I got it because it was very kitschy. I just thought it was really neat and I thought someone's gonna want that. It holds, I guess, a votive maybe, or a, a, a pillar candle. Oh, really neat, right? I thought it was adorable. So there's that. All right. This, which is very old, it's an old, embroidery on silk or satin there's holes in it lots of condition issues but you can see it's hand done because that's the back and you can see i don't know if you can see but you can see like the threads and stuff where people tied off colors and stuff like that so that i'm not sure but it's beautifully done so we'll see if that turns into anything I didn't, like I said, I didn't look these things up. Uh, this looks like a mini, what do you call that? Beater for rugs. Maybe you do use a very small rug. Um, I'm just gonna throw the stuff on the ground for now. This is a Dymo um, label maker, really vintage. Not sure if it's going to sell, but you know where you dial the letters and all that, so. You never know. A John Deere hat, which I think will be a good seller. Um, and these, I actually saw one of these on her $5 table, but then there were two of them in her dollar area. So I just picked up the two that were in her dollar area. These are really cute little bud vases. They have that little speckled pattern on it. And they're from a company called... Bloomingville, Bloomingville, and they have um, UPC tags on them, but I saw other things from Bloomingville. I think I'll be able to sell the pair of them for like 20 or 25, so that was a good pickup. I can't throw them, can I? Um, and I picked up this because I, I have sold one of these. Oh, it's too bright. Um, this is uh, Boyd's, and it's a you know, the boys' bears, it's a fairy, what is it called? Uncle Bean's treasure boxes. The ones I got, the one I got in the past was a fairy. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe I will open it up for you and we can see together. It looks like it's never, ever been opened. It has not been opened. Oh yes, the tape is broken. All right, let's take a look together and see what it is. I just thought it's new in box, it's Boyd's. What the heck, throw it in my box. Because even if it sells for 10 bucks, 10 bucks is 10 bucks. I don't know, maybe it is taped. No? Okay. Ready? Oh, how cute. It's a little trinket box, I guess. It looks like a basket of apples. And uh, does it open? It looks like it opened. Is it open? Oh, and what's inside? Oh, there's little special things inside. I have no idea. Oh, it looks like a little bird's nest. What else is in here? Something else. Take it out. Oh, it's a little itty bitty bear. <laughs> wow, how cute. All right, I have no idea what this is gonna be worth. This is very cute though. Okay, 
So that was worth it, right? I'm going to put this back in. Hopefully the right way. All right, that wasn't a fairy like I thought it was, but that's okay. It was still good. So my girlfriend, Anne, Anne Cerula. Hi, Anne. She um, bought out a whole bunch of stamps, and she resells um, rubber stamps um, online on eBay. And so I picked this up in her honor because I found a stamp. And it's by Stampin' Up? No. Stamp. Stamp Perfect. Stamp a Stamp a -roos, I don't know. I can't read it with my... I've got to get stronger glasses. But um, it's a bride and groom. So very cool. Very cool. And I think it's unstamped, unused. Doesn't... Or it's been cleaned very well, but I think it's unused. So that's always a plus. All right, what's this? I have no idea what this is. Again, this was sealed. This is actually sealed. But I do have to take open it, don't I? I have to see what the heck it is. It just says NFL something. NFL, but NFL doesn't always mean great money. I mean, can be if it's a collectible and it's old. But, you know, you never know. So, this is like a little treasure hunt. I love treasure hunts. Okay. Let's see what this is. Okay. Oh, awesome. They're little Pittsburgh Steeler mugs. Look. They're cool. Oh, I guess you can use it for a candle or something. But I bet they're collectible. There's one in the black and one with the yellow. Very cool. Oh, lots of Pittsburgh fans in this area. So I think these will sell very well. Okay. That was awesome. We'll see. Watch me look it up and it's going to say, oh, that'll sell for $10. Hey, $10 is $10. I am not going to quibble when I got the whole box of stuff for five bucks. I could easily, I think, I think easily $200 in this box. I'm pretty sure. Um, so I got this because Paul and I have been watching The Chosen and this reminded me of the beginning, the all the fish swimming. And I just thought it was really neat. It's one of those, you know, you put the oil warmer, the, it's an oil warmer. So you put the oil bottle in here. I don't know which maker it is. I'll have to figure that out. But I thought that was really neat looking. So, uh, pick that up. I picked this up for maybe someone who plays Dungeons and Dragons. This is a, uh, oh, I looked it up. Osapahedron, Os, I don't know. It's a 20 sided die and it's got the numbers on it, but this is a candle. <laughs> kitschy. That's kitschy. Um, and this was new in box, home interiors. It's a candle snuffer. Again, it would have been nice if I had found this like a while ago so I could sell it for Easter. But it's okay, like I said, people are still, after the holiday, they tend to like look around and go, hmm, what else could I have decorated with during Easter? So isn't this adorable? Look at how cute that is. Look at that. Adorable. So this is from Home Interiors. And I found her independent of the box and then realized the box said candle snuffer on it. So I took the box because that'll make it easier for me to ship her out when she sells. Because she will sell. She's adorable. Okay. Another one. Let's see. I'm trying to run through. Sorry, guys. Okay. These little glass vases were miraculously not broken. They were in the box free form. <laughs> and I know they go together because the top, their tops look the same. See them? But I just thought they were sweet. I don't know. Shelf decorator? Adorable. Well, we'll see. We'll see how adorable it is. See if somebody wants them. Then they're adorable. Okay. This is a Pyrex bowl. It's a little dinged up, it's scratched, but I don't know if you could see the scratches on there, but it is scratched, some of the, but the, the color is really good. 
and it might be a very desirable color so i have to look that up i'm not sure what size it is i'll look at the fine print on the bottom i'm thinking one quart bowl maybe one and a half quart okay here's the fork and spoon i was talking about yay <laughs> these sell for about 20 bucks online 24 dollars, 20 to 24 dollars on ebay I think depending on how old they are, this one, these have the little tiki guys on them. So I think these will be great. Those are winners. Winners. Um, and I am not sure about this. This is a Royal Prince Albert can for cigarette tobacco. So it's vintage. It's definitely old. Pretty rusted out. Prince Albert look that sucker up uh what is this oh this is an apple watch band and the only reason i know that is because it said it on the box somewhere apple watch band 42 millimeter black so i can actually just look up the upc code and see what those sell for but It'll sell for something, even if it's only 15 bucks. Oh, so these are <laughs> these are the cards that started the whole thing. Okay, they're not even like anything big to write home about. They're American greetings. They're Christmas cards. Some of them say happy holidays, and some of them have a Christmas tree on them. They're pretty. So there's three packages of them. And each package has 12 cards for designs. And I picked up this. Oh, it says Bermuda on it. Eh, not so nice anymore. I mean, Bermuda is nice. Don't get me wrong. Or I don't know if it is. I haven't been there. But this limits, you know, the buyer. But it might still sell. We'll see. It's it's a little heavy. So if someone really wants it and pay the shipping on it, I'm not sure. If not, I'll send it to, give it to my local consigner that I give my items to that don't sell or that I think are going to sell for very little. Um, I got these couple of little toys. I got Kermie. Um, he's from Blockbuster. So he might have some additional value because he's kind of a com combination guy, Blockbuster and um, Sesame Street. And then I got Mala Bear from Berenstein Bears. I don't know if she's going to sell. And Donald Duck, a little fiesta Donald Duck. <laughs> and his head swivels. I don't know if that makes a difference. <laughs> He's probably a McDonald's toy or something. They probably all are. And then the last thing, this made my box very heavy, is these the set. Look at this. Never been used set. MCM, mid-century modern. That olive green that was so the rage in mid-century modern, right? In the 70s. So there's, I guess, are like juice glasses. And they have that little carve out kind of action going on so there's one two three so there's eight of those in this box and only one thing is peeked open i don't know you know the other side is not even open yeah how awesome so i guess i see now do i open it when i take pictures and show the whole set or do i leave it sealed and say still sealed in box i don't know since the box is opened i guess i can open the whole thing oh it says Jewel Vanity Color ju Juice Vanity. I guess that's the name of the... Oh, right there. <laughs> juice Vanity. I guess that's the name of the pattern or the style. Vanity. So, um, and then these things were on that that goofy little... The African-looking candle holder thing. These little pieces of jewelry, but I don't think they're going to be worth anything. So... That's my $5 box. How do you like that? So thank you so much. I'm oh, sorry about the reflection in my eyeglasses. Thank you so much for joining me. I will have more to show you. Oh, let me show you one more thing. It's a smiley face ice bucket. Isn't that the coolest? I love this thing. So I got this at my consigner um, where I bring my stuff, some of my stuff that 
kind of I think is going to sell for too low a price. I don't want to feel like listing it. I bring it to her and I get like 60% if she sells it and she sells it lower than you would get it on eBay. So it kind of just declutters me and helps me focus and concentrate on the things I want to list. But I just thought he was the best. Now I looked up smiley face ice buckets and there was another one that was selling well but it's not this guy this guy's vinyl so I'm hoping that means that people will recognize this as vintage and that therefore this can go for more because those were going for like 60 65 dollars so me I'm hoping for about 85 dollars <laughs> I'll let you know how I make out all right have a great day have a happy holiday Thank you for visiting with me today. And please like and subscribe, share my video with anybody you think will be interested. Okay, cool. Ciao.